So looking at that equation, uh, we should know everything on the left hand side. So let's start plugging in some numbers. Our heat flow per length of pipe is going to be equal to 2 pi times the temperature of our steam, 220 degrees Fahrenheit, minus the temperature of our air, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. All of that is divided by 1 over the convective heat transfer coefficient on the inside of the pipe. That is in BTUs per hour foot squared degrees Fahrenheit multiplied by the inside radius of the pipe. Confused myself there for a second. Plus the natural log of the two radii divided by my thermal conductivity of the steel, 24.8 BTUs per foot hour degrees Fahrenheit, plus 1 over the convective heat transfer coefficient on the outside of the pipe, 50 BTUs per hour foot squared degrees Fahrenheit, multiplied by the outside radius of the pipe, 6 divided by 12, okay if I've done my math correctly I get a value of 32.80 for doing sig figs We get a heat loss per length of pipe of 3,300 BTUs per foot hour. Okay, so hopefully everything in that example made sense and applying Fourier's law of heat conduction to heat transfer through pipes made a bit more sense after looking at that example.